Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my Game of Thrones Legends mobile game content. So we're just about to have the end of the PvP season. And I wanted to let you know how I'm doing. I am in currently gold level 2 right now. And I'm right where I want to be to end the season. I could have pushed to advance to gold division one where the rewards would have been a little bit better uh, you can see right now i'm going to end up in the remaining zone and i'm going to end up getting 12 shards of cal drogo in the promotion zone i could have got 15 so i could have got three more um, this is actually going to be the last season for who knows how long that cal drogo is actually the reward because after today's raid season ends, they have said that they are going to switch it over to Cersei Lannister. So that's actually cool in some regards because it will give us a chance to acquire a different hero that I was not able to get before. And it's also kind of not cool in some regards because... If I wanted to level up my Call Drogo, now I'm missing a way to get those shards reliably. Right now, I am at mm, three stars, and the reward I get today will push me on over to four. The extra th uh, three shards I would get for him for going up to the next division is really just not going to do me anything. It's just going to push me a couple shards higher, and I'm already so far under the requirement for the fifth star that it just really doesn't matter at this point. So honestly, I think that where I'm at in life <laughs> is going to dictate the fact that I just go ahead and stay in Gold Division 2 right now. Because honestly... I do not have the time in my life right now to be a tryhard and try to go up to gold one and then possibly the Iron Throne. I totally could have been there, but I just don't have the time to deal with it. I'm currently making content on this game. I work a full-time job. I have a big family to take care of. And I'm also thinking about, well, I'm not thinking about, I am going to branch out and do content on Age of Empires Mobile with a group that I have in my Discord right now. So in a couple days when that releases, I'll be starting on that. So I really just don't have the time in my life to dedicate to being there every few hours whenever my raid energy resets and doing it again so i'm going to be satisfied with just hanging in gold division 2 because with me at 472,000 power and this is my attack team which is an aoe focused fire and ice build i handle staying in the remaining zone quite easily i only have to use my uh, raid energy about three times a day and basically, I'm doing that so that I can farm silver and food, <laughs> honestly, is the reason why I burn my raid energy so frequently. Because raids is such a good place to get food and silver that that's really why I do raids. I don't do raids for the rewards that I could get because, as you can see, they're okay, but they're not the greatest. I mean, yes, the gold and the Caldrogo tokens and the summon tokens are really nice. But, I mean, everything else is just kind of meh. It's just stuff that I get every hour from my resource nodes. And then we get these idealist faithful protectors that we've gotten every single season. I have like 60 of them now. So, developers of the game, if you're listening, can you please do something about randomizing this loot? Because this is a little ridiculous. But anyway, the season has ended. Raid season will be, rewards will be known here in just a second. Let's hang on and let's see what I got. We've got a new gold road pass. I'll be getting that here in a minute. And if you follow my content, you'll know that about three weeks ago, I posted the video telling you that this was going to be the next gold road pass. So yeah, you had a heads up if you watch my content. 
So for season results for gold two, I will remain, which was my plan all along. I fought 160 battles. I lost 15 of them with a win rate of 90%. Honestly, the 15 battles that I lost, I just wasn't paying attention because I was auto battling while I was working or I was auto battling while I was doing dishes to pay my credit card bill off or <laughs> just whatever, you know. So those battles don't really mean anything to me. That 90% win rate would have been 100%, honestly, if I had been managing every single battle because the AI does not do a battle as efficient as a player would be at this level. So let's continue and see my rewards. Just so you can know what you can get at gold level 2, boom, here's what you get. So I got 12 called Drogo Shards. That's really awesome. The gold and the summon tokens. And then give me that silver. Yes, I will take that always. So now let's look at my new bracket. Raids end in 6 days and 24 hours. So basically 7 days. And I am at right here. Because nobody's really done anything yet. So there we go. There's a new raid season. Uh, let's see what the rewards are. Oh, hmm. Okay, it looks like Cal Drogo is going to still be the reward this time around. Well, shoot. Had I known that, I possibly would have tried to push the gold one because then that would have meant that I would have got an extra mm, six for the last season and the new season. But that's okay because, like I said, I just really don't have the time to compete at gold one. So I'm satisfied with that. But anyway, that was kind of a surprise because I expected this to uh, rotate over to Cersei Lannister, and it did not. I guess I misread the notes on this in the patch notes. Hmm. Well, my bad. Okay, folks, so now you know that, and that's something to help you keep in touch with what's going on in raids, what I'm doing in raids, what team I'm using, and how I'm performing uh, just wanted to bring you in and let you have a little insight on that. So thank you very much for watching my content. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget in the description of all my videos, I always have a link to my Discord where I have an awesome thriving community that loves to talk about this game, loves to talk about Age of Empires Mobile, and a lot of other interests we have there that we share together. Over 400 members so far, so that Discord is growing like crazy. So if you're interested in joining a cool Discord that shares interests that you might have in mobile gaming, then think about joining. Look in the description for the link to that. Thank you for watching my content. I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you later in Westeros. Just better hope that you don't pair up against me in raids, because I'll wreck you. <laughs>